everybody all right welcome to it's just plastic my name is hound that's right all right you saw the thumbnail i told you i was gonna be bringing y'all some different stuff so this is a first for me i've never reviewed anything like this this is a different style of figure so this one let me show it to you what i got here bam I got the Star Wars Ronin Django Fett. Boy, this is a Bandai, uh, what do they call it? Tamashi, Tamashi Nations. This is a, a an authentic, authentic figure because one of my best friends from way back in high school and beyond, or before that, I've known this guy for 20 plus years. He is stationed over in Japan. He is in the U.S. Navy. That's right. I'm a veteran as well. He is my boy from a long time ago. He picked it up for me and sent it to me because he thought it was really cool and he thought I would appreciate it. And boy, do I appreciate it. I just don't know how what I'm going to do with it because <laughs> I don't have anything else that looks like this. Uh, but you know what? It's going to stay in my collection for a long time because I really appreciate it when people, uh, especially close friends, purchase stuff for me and give me gifts. My gifts, if you give me a gift, it'll never leave my collection. So I appreciate it. Shout out to you, brother. One of my favorite people in the world, man. I miss you. Come back home. Uh, sucks that you're living all the way in Japan and we don't ever get to see you anymore. So come back, man. All right. Have fun out there. <laughs> Tell the family I said what's up. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Uh, before I show y'all anything else, actually, let's go ahead, hit the like, hit the subscribe, drop me a comment, whatever you want to do. Say I suck. I don't care. Just say what's up. <laughs> also, check out the links in the description. I got a uh, link to uh, buy me a coffee or a cup of coffee or whatever the, what it's called. Uh, it's a one-time donation. Any amount, whatever y'all choose, I don't care. Do it, don't. I just, you know, hey, if you do, really appreciate it. If you don't, just watch the videos and hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Cool. All right, also my Instagram's below if y'all ever want to hit me up on there. Let's look at the back of this box. So there's the side profile. Just a little zoom up of that. There's the back. Really cool. Look at all that writing. You can't, I, I can't read any of that. Oh, I can read, the, I, I can read that. Movie Realization. <laughs> uh, man it, this is just a beautiful figure i've actually never done one of these like i said uh i did pop this open just to kind of give an idea of what i was looking at look at all that wow us americans have no clue like uh, it's we, we, i think we i know it's the same thing the lettering here but i mean the artistic style of the japanese letters I, this right here, this little letter, look at this little letter right here. That would take me forever to write that. <laughs> I'd be like, no, that line's not right. Oh, no, no. D, done. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just, I, I, I am not making fun. I appreciate their letters and the artistic, uh, art, you know, like the history of their letters even is amazing. Uh, there you go. Look, that's in the inside. Bam. Open it up. Boom. <laughs> All right. So you did get an instruction manual. We ain't going to use that because we don't need it. I don't use instructions manuals. There you go. Man, look at that. Just awesome. Look at all the... Just all the cool things right there. So sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, there he is. Boom. There he is in all his glory. Look at that. So cool. We're going to go over everything slowly but surely. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's get some of this stuff out the way. So we got a cool sword. Boom. Looks really nice. It is plastic. I was I love me some die cast parts, but don't don't knock it. Thomas um Tamanashi or whatever uh Bandai make beautiful figures. If you do not have any, I would highly recommend. Uh after I've seen this one, man, I will definitely be buying me some more. I don't know what I'm gonna like I'm not a I I uh but I don't have any other Japanese Roman Ronin style or whatever you want to call it, samurai style figures. That's his two pistols. They look identical. 
he comes with a cool like throwing piece right here. This is like the um, scorpion, get over here piece. <laughs> I just put a little string on the end of that. I don't know what that's supposed to go to just yet. Like I said, I just opened it up and kind of looked at everything. Uh, I didn't take him out or anything. There's his cool uh, Japanese samurai style freaking backpack. Really nice. Nothing comes out. Nothing swivels. Oh yeah, these kind of move. These the little rockets kind of move back and forth. That's that's pretty cool. The ro this rocket doesn't come out. It comes with a slew of hands. Holy crap! Look at all these hands. Let's pull the hands out and look at them. Okay, so he comes with uh, that's the same hand. So like an open grip. Maybe that's his pistols. So like a yeah. I don't even know. Like some some different hands. Um, kind of, oh, there's a finger off the trigger pointer. There's the trigger open hand. So that's all right. Here's the left. You got the same thing left. So you got the same thing left and right. We don't need to go over that. And then he has fist hands on him. So let's go ahead and pull this. Woo! Let's go ahead and pull this out. Let's discard this piece for a second because it is big and in the way. All right. Very cool. Look at that. Ooh, buddy. Man, I need to figure out how to get this piece out, though, huh? Oh. All right. Let's kind of just look at it, things, and I'll get that out of here in a second. Love the style. Love the way this looks. I mean, all the little rivet pieces. Oh, look, that even folds down. His little range finder folds down. It is kind of bent. I wish that wasn't bent like that. I wish it would be more straight, but I'm not going to mess with it because I don't want to break it. This is a really cool... Oh, look at the, all the rivets and stuff in the back of the helmet. The armor looks really good. Oh, it swivels out of the way. Like It's got a little swivel piece there. I'm trying to see where it connects. Uh, connects at the top of the shoulder it connects up in here it's hard to show you but it connects like right there so it kind of swivels doesn't have a lot of maneuverability for the shoulder pad but it does enough to move out the way so you can do things man this is my first time to actually play with this like maneuver it around i mean just look at all the detail Look at all the rivets. I mean, it is so much detail. The leather is not leather. That's plastic, but it looks so leather-like. Oh, look. You can even see, like, stuff up under here. Wow. Look at the gauntlets. Gauntlets are freaking legit. Oh, that's where that uh, piece goes, that arrow piece I was saying. I don't know where that goes. I bet you that goes right there. That's Oh, that should be his rocket. <laughs> his gauntlet rocket. Oh, that's cool. But look at the leather. Look at all the pouches and stuff. Like, look at the patina here. Oh, he's got like a rope belt, like his uh, normal. All right, let's see here. We, oh, let's just keep, let's, let's try to look at all that. Look, the leather on the belt, I mean, on the uh, holsters. I gotta get this plastic out somehow without breaking him. Oh, it's gonna make me so nervous doing that. But look at the all this stuff like look at the shoes Whew. look at those shoes <laughs> straight samurai style let's see here i've got a oh no oh, that was easy that came that popped right off it's just like a like a neck or a head like a head yeah that comes right off see just poop right off put that back on there cool let's make sure i put this on the right way Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. And then just pop back on there. Cool. All right. So he's legit now. Before I deck him out, what do y'all say? Let's go over some articulation. What do you think? So articulation, head down, head up. Not much. Up or down, 360. Yeah, that... That pans out. Oh, you go all the way around. He's got a lot of them. He's still got a pretty good maneuverability in his head. Shoulders up. 
our biceps up. Look at that. Bam, man. Good, good rotation. Uh, he's got bicep swivel. He's got some good, he's got good maneuverability in his shoulders, like, or in his uh, arms. Like, he can move pretty good. He does have a bicep swivel. Uh, it does kind of interfere. The shoulder pad does kind of interfere a little bit. He's got some cool elbow situations going on. Like, he can move his elbow right here. He can swivel this, and he can swivel up here. Like, right here at the... Right there, you can see it kind of moves. Double jointed. Uh, the, I think there would be crazy amount of articulation if, uh, if he didn't have all this kind of stuff sticking out. So... Uh, he has two wrists. They both swivel in. Um, let's see here. Let's get... We got some... How much, What kind of ab crunch we got? Move the arm out the way, dude. Ab crunch. Not too much. Not bad. Not bad. It's it's okay. It moves a little bit. Uh, this... Oh, that's a surprise. This actually moves out. Look at that. That was part of the belt that came off, and that still moves. So he doesn't have a lot of articulation going out like front to back, um, but you can kind of see that he doesn't flare out a lot to the sides. I mean, it's pretty good, man. Um, not a lot of rotation in the. Uh, oh, could you? Oh, look, look there! I forgot that hips. Oh yeah, it kind of leaves that piece behind when you sw swivel him. So that kind of looks a little weird when you swivel him, but at the uh, waist. Um, you can kind of move this legs up here. Yeah, you can. That's pretty good. And then he has the same thing down here at the legs as the uh, as the arms. So you can kind of get, or the elbows. You can kind of get a little bit of rotation out there. It's not as good as the arms. Yeah, the legs are nowhere, the knees are nowhere near as good as the elbows. But And then he's got ball joint uh, ankles, which not a lot of rotation in here. But you still get uh, some decent maneuverability. Overall, I don't know how crazy I'll get with their posing. Um, I've swiveled him all over the place. Now he is all sorts of janky looking now that I sit there and mess with him. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and deck him out. What do y'all say? And see what he looks like with everything on him. So, what do we put first? Let's put this little tiny thing on him first, because I want to see what that looks like. Okay, so take this, and it says just to pop it in there. Pop it in there. Do you want to do it that way or that way? Oh, yeah, it goes that way. Oh, yeah, see? Bam! Yeah, now that, that, that looks cool. I'm going to be afraid I'm going to lose it. I don't know if I'll pose, pose that with him or not. Let's go to the jetpack. Jetpack's just got a plug, hole, plug in key right there. Just kind of wiggle it in there, nice and tight. Woohoo! Man, he's looking good already. All right, so what do we do with? Let's hope all of his accessories go on him. Okay, we'll take this, put the sword in that sheath. Is it sheath? Okay, I see where that goes. Let's take his two guns and let's put the guns on him. His guns go right up front. Let's move his hands out the way. Ooh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. This little uh, twister thing, uh, it's a, it's the cock. <laughs> uh, when, you st when they cock the gun back, that that's, pulls the trigger. Uh, so we'll put that in. So the guns are exactly the same. But the way the holsters are, you have to kind of load this one with the uh, trigger on the inside there. Ooh, I don't like that. Hmm. Huh, okay. That's a little different, but okay. And then you take the sword here and throw it. See that piece right there? I'm gonna just throw that right through there. I'm gonna guess. Let's do this. You will see how I'm doing this, right? Okay, we'll put that right there. That may be a little incorrect, but it's close enough. And then we'll tuck that back. Let's tuck that back a little bit. Oh, guns are in the way. How about that? 
All right, y'all. What do y'all think of Mr. Django Fett Ronin style? <laughs> Man, he looks so cool. Thank you, brother. Man, sorry it took so long to review him. Oh, he looks awesome. All right, let me set him down. Oh, he, he's hard to set down that way. Let's take this back out. Uh, the let's look at that. I just rotated it. The that kind of gets in the way. And this thing is super easy to fall. It already fell out. Let's see how easy the hands are to pop out. Oh, they come out right off. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, this video is super long compared to my normal videos. I try not to make them this long anymore. I used to all the time. And most people get bored about halfway through. So I, if you like the video, appreciate it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Check out the links down below. It's a cup of coffee. Uh, one time donation, you know, whatever y'all want to check it out. Maybe you want to start your own. You never know. Um, uh, it doesn't cost anything to start one if you ever wanted to start one. So also my Instagram's down below. Hit me up on there. If y'all want to talk, you know, whatever action figures, movies, I don't care if you're bored, hit me up. Um, that's it for today, man, brother. I can't appreciate you enough. Thank you. Sorry. It took so long to review this one. I just really didn't know how I was going to do this. And I finally got to a place in my videos where I decided this is how I was going to do it. And I think it worked out really well. I really, really love this figure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come home, man. Uh, we miss you. I, I promise you. We all miss you. Uh, that's it for today. Appreciate y'all stopping by, checking out my video. Man, y'all gonna show some love to the U.S. Navy and our service members. I'm a veteran. Show love to your veterans. All veterans need it. We, you don't know you, until you're in their situation. You don't know what it's like to be away from your family. I served four years and I was away from my family for a long time. I spent up to 10, 11 months at sea away from everybody. You know what happens when you're gone from your family for or, or any of your loved ones or your friends for 10, 11 months? People grow in a year. That is almost, it's obvious that's almost a year's time frame and people change. You don't realize it how little people change every day. But when you're gone for that long and you come back, people have picked up drug problems They've moved on. They've done. They've you know they've done things successful. They've went down in the dumps. Um, it could be it, you just never know what you're gonna get when you've been gone that long. So uh, pay respects to your service members. There's plenty of members out there. Or plenty of groups out there where you can donate to uh, you know stop uh, suicide and everything like that for your service members. And you don't realize what they do until you're in their shoes. Trust me, I've been there. It's not easy. It's very, very difficult. Uh, show some love. All right, you guys, take care. Sorry, I'll get off my soapbox. I, I love our military, and I love our country, and I don't care who knows that. Love it. <laughs> I will stand for it every day every day of the week. You, you name it. All right, that's it, you guys. Take care. Have a good one, and remember... Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. They we hustle, but the night we. Know that the ride or die. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Oh, boy. They we hustle, but the night we.